<laughs> All right, here we go. Game one, PS2. Yep, getting right into it. And oh, there we go. That big old stop sign. I mean, <laughs> it looks like AOS didn't check his brakes because he's definitely going to get a ticket on that one. That ticket looking like 44 damage. <laughs> yeah. AOS just, you know, you got your you get your pacing CSS and you get your in-your-face CSS. And um, I've seen AOS do a little bit of both. But right now, Seagull Joe is able to con just control the spacing with with these uh, explosive flames. And that whiff grab, once again. Great DI on that jump tilt. But I don't say this enough. If you, play, if you try and play neutral with a Brawl Vet, you will lose. If you are like solely like an ultimate player, like a little bit of Smash 4, like neutral against a Brawl Vet is very hard. Neutral against Seagull Joe is hard. If you hit him, another story. Right. But that neutral, he is very hard to uh, crash. All right. Good there. Got some cells. Back onto onto ground here with that side B, and there is that short hop back air. You know that he was looking for that. Absolutely. All right, so here comes an air train. But luckily, ZSS able to get themselves out of that better than most other characters in the roster here. Skinny privilege. Yes, it's indeed. super real. <laughs> All right, another whiff grab here on the part of AOS able to shield before the explosive flame. And, I mean, despite the fact that Joe's off stage, okay, great edge guard by AOS. Most, more ZSS need to do that. And, and AOS has got, I mean, AOS, I feel like, has gotten better at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, when you don't have the way to confirm the kills, you might as well just go out there for it. You have all that air mo mobility, a high second jump, but you don't have the DI, apparently, because that was almost, Ooh, that was almost a crusty DI. Yeah. All right, and lands right into explosive flame, and that is going to be a stock. Excellent coverage right there by Joe. AOS, I mean, doing all right at keeping pace, but now you're still stuck behind. So even if you keep pace that, or like take trades, that's still a deficit. Mm -hmm. All right, it's fair. See, looking for the approach here, but good back here by AOS. Just without a disadvantage, but. Seagull Joe just playing aggressive, staying back, throwing out those projectiles. All right. Ooh, a little bit of a mix right there with that back here and goes Ooh. for the reverse. Yeah, yes. keeps that edge guard going. But Seagull Joe using that teleport, going high, able to sneak his way right back in there and keep on compounding on this lead. But despite that, AOS showing that there's still a lot of gas in this tank. All right, back air falling off the platform, looking for that uh, plasma whip, but ends up getting reverse edge guard here. And that Nair, yeah, unfortunately, the Nair causes AOS to pineapple. So, Seagull Joe will take game one. Yes, sir. And, I mean, Seagull Joe is still such a strong player, even, like, taking a pretty long break. Mm. Some things just don't go away. That neutral mm. is something that you just can't teach. It's something that you have to know and experience at this point. All right, so... See what uh, counter pick is going to be small battlefield for game number two. Hmm. One of the counter pick stages. I feel like most people are going either small battlefield or town city when it comes mm -hmm. to their counter because no one likes Lilat. I don't <laughs> even know if Lilat's still le is, is, legal. Is it? I don't think it's legal anymore. Thank God. It's been long enough. That's stage just sucks for like 15 I know years. Vast, <laughs> I know Hall of Ashen's on the stage list now, so mm -hmm. I. I think we took. I think we took off Lilac, but I I could be mistaken. But either way, I haven't seen it in a long time, so and I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game two on small battlefield. And uh, uh, Seagull Joe reading that roll, but uh, AOS were able to respond with a weak hit of the flip kick. But gonna get a couple up airs here. Back air. Uh oh, uh -oh. Spike. Nope, not quite the spike hitbox, but still gets a good amount of damage here with that flip kick. Yeah, spike hitbox almost wasn't even needed. Like, that DI was almost enough to get uh, Steel Joe killed right there. All right. Here comes AOS. Oh, actually, great intercept right there. It's hard to do that with all those iframes on the flip kick. All right. Uh, tries for the stun, but he's facing the wrong way. Looking for the back air off the uh, 
get the stage fight, but no dice there, but whiffs on the grab. Nice. That up tilt. Ugh. Yes, dashing so that you get a little bit of a slide in there. Low profile and has a pretty big hitbox. Super slept on, in my opinion, but there's not a lot of Palutena's anyway. But, but they're also using the tools that uh, are strong, the Ooh. character like the up air, and great spot dodge right there from AOS, saving his bacon. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I think. Um, yeah, that was a w weird uh, upbe there from Seagull Joe. Maybe Charlie was trying to get to the middle of the stage, ended up going up in the air, and I think that kind of gave AOS the advantage to take that stop. Yeah, and it was well needed because despite that, still behind for now. Seagull fast falling a little bit too fast, but going to get all the hits with the auto reticle. Some good damage in there. And yeah, starting to use that a bit more as a kind of a zoning tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, falls right into the explosive flame. It's so tricky because you want to um, kind of regain your momentum, get out of tumble, out, draw the hitbox, but you can't do that. And also, yeah. you can't neutral, neutral get up from the ledge up. against no. Seagull Joe. All right. Nair will get turned to right into an up smash, but. Again, good job by Seagull Joe to get themselves out of disadvantage there. But Seagull Joe holding center stage here. Using his projectiles will get the Nair to up air string. Ouch, yeah. Can't afford to be eating those. Almost a big pickup right there. But AOS recognizing that there's nothing there. Smart to just back away. And now Seagull Joe just holding center stage and just short hopping, being as annoying as possible. You can't really get in on him too easily either because the... Um, Big intangible hitboxes on the dash attacks and the back air. Seal Joe is totally liable to throw those out. All right, the barely the Pope getting with that plasma web. Very, very last hit, too. Up but we out. Back center stage. And look at that. He's just short hopping, being annoying again. Look, he's like a fly. <laughs> just hanging out and knowing that you can't really do anything about him. All right. Oh, gets a stun. Barely will convert it into the boost kick. Yes, Joe just ran in there. I mean, just a, a tiny, tiny bit too far. Looked like he was ready to react to the situation, but right. in the day, it was just a little bit too fast, not able to stop himself in time. All right, so last stop situation here. Not totally out of the question here for AOS, but ultimately he's got to get back to center stage. We'll get that dash attack. We'll get a back air. Okay, AOS trying to, trying to bring this back here. And doing a phenomenal oh, job. Calls out yeah. that jump. I was about to say, a lot of these jumps are getting called out. Seal Joe, I mean, I was putting out him jumping center stage before, and AOS like, oh, word? You're oh, jumping that in my down. airspace? Getting tight here in this last last stop situation. Once again, jump called no double out. Jump. No double jump right here. Yeah, mm. he has to uh, just teleport right back in there. Stun. Oh. AOS is in Joe's head when it comes to movement right now, yeah. but it might be too little too late. Despite all that, Joe just needs to set up one win condition. Mm. All right, no punish on that side B. Short, yeah, looking yeah. for the back air. Was trying to call a jump again. This time we'll just answer the F tilt. Oh, just, yep. Sees that explosive flame, comes right in with the back air. I think he tried to B reverse the explosive flame, so you just kind of nick the ledge a little bit, stop the momentum, and just kind of pop up. Because that explosive flame was way too far back to punish anything that um, Seagull was looking for, yeah. or that AOS was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a misinput right there, but hey, AOS will take that any day of the week. Absolutely. So we are one to one here. And looking for the pick. It's going to be town and city. The counter pick stage. Everyone's going there, small battlefield, I always say. The real question is yeah, what will Joe go? Because Joe plays a lot of characters. Probably too many characters, <laughs> to be completely honest. Sticking with the tried and true. I feel yep. like out of all of his characters, this is probably the one with the best matchup against ZSS, so yeah. respect that. I mean, Palo is just kind of the jack of all trades of Smash characters anyway. Yeah. Can't go too, too wrong with taking Palatina, but here we go. Quick up air string here to start things off for Seagull Joe. Down air from AOS to try and get themselves out of disadvantage, but. Once again, gets hit by the Nair, two back air, jumps out of the explosive flame. Beautiful stuff right there. And uh-oh, Joe's starting to commit a bit more on these dash attacks and grab attempts also. I mean, he might want to slow it down and just let AOS come to him because Seagull does have the advantage right now. AOS does is the one who has to approach. Granted, DSS is very good at that, but I mean, you know, might as well make your opponent work for it. 
Absolutely. All right. Oh, uh -oh. great. Once again, we're seeing those AOS edge guards come into full force here. Yeah, I mean, he's so good at those. And uh oh, he is in Joe's head. Look at that pivot grab right there. I mean, honestly, this is this is looking like Nair flip kick robbery percentage right now, especially if Seal Joe just keeps on hanging out the ledge. Joe recognize that as like, oh, let me just get back center stage. But yeah. even still, AOS is all over Dance, Joe. Dance, miss up. Oh my goodness. Bruh. Just, oh Bruh. my goodness. Bruh, he is all over him. How do you get away? He's a bounty hunter for a reason. And I mean, there must be a lot of money in Palatina's head. <laughs> Sheesh. A pivot grab there. AOS on fire right now. But will... That DIA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just as a, that might have been a little bit of Cassius Curse there. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. But um, still looking good. Still, still looking, looking very, very good. good here on the part of AOS. So still has stage control here. Just Seal Joe just struggling to get back to the center stage here. And still getting called out with these up airs, but nice. still that falling up air off the platform. Yeah, amazing stuff. Because, I mean, people will want to drop shield once your opponent's off the platform, too. And but even the still. Back air, and you saw it. Wow. Yeah, Joe knew it was done. AOS knew it was done. But once someone starts to get that much momentum on them, they're hard to stop, especially when it's AOS. AOS Absolutely. defeating Seal Joe 2-1. Very, very solid there. And like I said, you know, from seeing, from casting AOS over the cave to now, it's just he's gotten so much better. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really fun to watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely one of the more electric players in the region for a reason. Mm -hmm. Dude is nice with it. Dude is nice with it. Absolutely. So we'll see what the bracket looks like now. Um, so we should 